Let's draw a garden today. First decide what you want to grow in your garden. I'm going to start by growing some pumpkins along the bottom edge. All right. So I just make my pumpkins and pumpkins come in all different shapes and sizes and even colors. You can even have green pumpkins that aren't quite ripe yet. You can have white pumpkins. You can have pumpkins different shapes. All right. So go ahead and put in a few pumpkins for me. All right. And I like to put little lines coming down my pumpkin. And I'll color this in with crayon later. And you'll see how it gets really fancy that way. But I'm going to go ahead and draw out with my markers. So first thing I'm going to do is add some pumpkins. I want a little bit of lines on my green pumpkins. I'm then going to put some stems on my pumpkins. And pumpkins grow on vines. So I'm going to add some vines coming and growing my pumpkins together. And the vines all kind of get tangled up together. Not a problem. And again, I've got some vines going down. Now, that gives me one thing in my garden, but I want to be growing lots of things in my garden today. So I'm going to be using something else called a ground line. Most of us think of the bottom of our paper as a ground line, and it can be. And I can go ahead and put some dirt on that ground if I want to straight across the bottom. But it doesn't have to stop there. You can add more ground lines in a drawing. You can add as many ground lines as you would like in a drawing. So I'm going to, right above my pumpkins, I'm going to put another ground line. And I'll just bump over top of that one and come right later on. We'll show you how to jump underneath. But I wanted to get a little bit of change into my ground line. And now I can think of something else that I want to grow in my garden. I can have pumpkins. How about some cabbages? I like cabbages. All right. And so I'm going to use my green and I'm going to draw some heads of my cabbage and going all the way across. And then I'm going to put some leafy leaves coming around them. I like coleslaw. I even like cooked cabbage. I'm a big cabbage fan. I like cabbage and noodles. I don't know if you've ever tried that. You just cook some noodles up and then you add some cabbage with it. And again, once I start to color these out, it's going to look great as cabbages. But I want more in my garden. So I can add another ground line. So back here, I can add myself another ground line. And again, you don't have to make it straight. We could make ground lines wavy if we want. All right. And in this corner, let's think of some other things we might want to plant in our garden. We have pumpkins. We have cabbages. I think I would like some corn in this garden. So I'm going to draw some stalks of corn. First, I'm going to draw on my stalks. And some grow tall and some can grow short. All different shapes and sizes. And then I'm going to put some ears of corn coming out. And sometimes you'll have more than one ear of corn or two ears of corn. This one, I'm going to give a bunch of ears of corn. It just depends on how the garden grows, how well you're taking care of it and watering it. All right. And on the top of my ears of corn, I'm going to have my ears splitting open a little bit. So I'm going to put some yellow in there. But when they're first growing, they're all covered up with the leaves. But I'm going to have them starting to get ripe and splitting open a little bit so you can kind of see inside. And that will be my yellow. And the top of the corn has these little pieces that come off and there's where the pollen is growing. So I want to get that up there too with my yellow. It's kind of like putting hair on top of the corn. Oh wow, that's looking really nice. All right, so I've got that in there, but I can make the garden grow even bigger. But this time instead of jumping way on top of the corn, I'm going to jump up underneath the corn. Watch how I can do that. I start and I get to the corn and I jump over the top of it. I get to the corn and I jump over the top of it. I get to the corn and I jump and I jump. Oh, a little tiny one right in there. And I can just jump and go all the way across. And look how that puts in another ground line getting way back there in the distance. All right. So 
let's think about what I could grow on this ground line. I have pumpkins and cabbages and corn. How about some carrots? Carrots grow down into the dirt like triangular shape. So I'm going to put some carrots and I can have skinny carrots. I can have long carrots. I can have short baby carrots. You can make the carrots however you would like if you're making carrots. All right. Sometimes they grow with bumps on them and they don't grow very well at all. So you have to decide how you want to do that. And I like to put some lines going across my carrots. Some of my carrots are too skinny for lines, but that's up to you. All right. And the top of the carrot shoots up out of the ground and that's just the leaves of the carrot. So some people actually cook carrot leaves. I find they're kind of tough and bitter to the taste, but some people like that. I've had them served to me before, so I do know some people do eat them. All right. So here I'm getting then the top of my carrot leaves and look at my drawing, my garden getting bigger and bigger. All right. And again, I can put another ground line. And as I jump over the top or go around the top, my ground line doesn't have to be straight. I can put it however I want my ground line going way back in there. I think I would like to put a little barn way back in the distance. Making a barn is like making a little house. So I'm going to make a little house right here. All right. But instead of putting a normal triangular roof, I'm going to flatten off the roof and then come down to the corners. And beside my barn, I'm going to put the, um, the silo and I'm just going to round it off on the top. And this is where the grain is stored into my barn. I'm going to give myself some big barn doors and I like to put an X through the barn doors to make that barn show up. All right. So there's my garden. I now want to just sort of grab my crayons. So let me get my crayons out here. And I like to go back in and color. So I'm going to take my cabbages or green, and I'm going to take my green crayon. It looks like I need to peel it just a little bit. I'm going to take my green crayon and color in, and I'm kind of trying to stay within my lines. But you can see how this is going to make it look that much nicer. Not only can I color in my cabbages, I can color in my pumpkins. Let me find an orange. Doesn't look like I've got a good orange. So I can use different shades of orange. So how about, oh, I found a good orange right here. I can color in lightly and see how my oranges show up. Or I can change the color. This is sort of a brownish orange, a burnt orange kind of color. I could even add some green in there because sometimes the pumpkins aren't all the way ripe yet. All right, I could even add some yellow in there. There's different colors I could put onto those pumpkins as I'm coloring in. And don't forget in the end, this is all dirt. So my dirt is going to go around my pumpkins, but it's going to come all the way down from one ground line to the next as I'm filling up my picture. And I can use different shades of brown as I go from one ground line to the next and I'm working up my garden. So maybe I'll use this shade of brown over and around my cabbages. But you can see how I'm just sort of working with this half side sheet of paper. As I start coloring in, it's going to get better and better and better. Maybe way far in the background, instead of more dirt, maybe I want a mountain back there. And I could put a mountain back there. And again, I can color my mountain in green if I wanted to. I might make it the Blue Ridge Mountain and color it in blue. I can put the sun up above. I can fill in my sky. You're just having fun making a garden and you get to decide how you like it best.